Hi everybody, I'm Isaac Raymond. I'm going to be your instructor for this course. I just wanted to show you around the classroom, get you familiar with how the Canvas course works, and hopefully that can help address some questions that people have. So in this course, you'll want to start just like you do with every other course. Check out the syllabus, you know, uh, skim through that. Some of it you'll see is repeated from course to course, but you know, you want to check out, you know, the grading scheme for our class, the items that are graded, you know, how I'll grade those items. You know, especially this, the discussion board rubric um, that's always always seems to be missed by a lot of the class uh, uh, every time I teach uh, college algebra. But uh, check out the discussion board rubric because that describes how I'll grade all of your graded discussions that we have in our course. The big thing is that uh, initial posts are required by Thursday of the discussion week. And then at least two replies are required for full credit by the end of that week by Sunday. Uh, we ask for initial posts by Thursday just because if we don't have the requirement there, then the discussion board, there's like one or two people that participate during the week, and then all of a sudden, a ton of people participate on Sunday at the end of the week. So um, if you don't post by Thursday, you don't get a zero or anything like that. It's just a point deduction. So that's all spelled out for you in the discussion board rubric. So that's one portion of our course. We have the discussion boards. Uh, the big portion of our course is uh, the assignments that we find in Newton. So if you click on the link, uh, it should prompt you. It'll probably start signing you up for Newton, which should be like an automated process. And you shouldn't pay for anything. Right? Durag College pays for it. But. Um, so you'll click on those links. That will bring you to Newton, and that will start, uh, start you off with your first homework assignments. If you're ever stuck on Newton questions, um, please just send me the name of the topic and say, could you make a video on this topic? And I'll gladly do that for you. So like if you try product quotient and power properties of exponents, it sounds harder than it is, okay? But if you try that and you get a couple wrong, you're like, I don't know how to do this. Just send me a message, I'll make you a video. And I guess one thing that students don't realize is that you can get questions wrong on Newton. You can get like 20 questions wrong and still get a hundred, get a grade of 100 for this portion of the homework, okay? Newton just keeps giving you more and more questions until you eventually get, a, uh, get enough of them right. So don't worry if you if you get a bunch wrong at the beginning. Pause. Don't don't send yourself down a rabbit hole, rabbit hole. But if you're stuck, you keep getting questions wrong. Pause there. Send me a message. Tell me what topic you're working on, and then I'll make you some videos for you. Okay. Uh, you'll see videos throughout the course, but I'm very happy to add to the list. You know, to create more videos to assist you. So you have those Newton homework assignments each week. Uh, there'll be a quiz each week. We have, a we have three tests throughout the course. Those are all done in Newton, the quizzes and the tests. And then we have these things called applied problems. So the applied problem is like a specific type of real world problem that's been made based on what you've done in the course so far, okay? So if you click on it, a PDF will load, and it's pretty straightforward. It'll tell you what to do, okay? tell you, you know, make this calculation, make this calculation. And then at the bottom of each applied problem, there's a quick summary of how it's going to be graded. Okay, so uh, for the first applied problem and for none of the other ones, um, we need you to upload a short uh, video uh, of yourself narrating your solutions. So upload your applied problem solution. It can be a picture, it can be a PDF, it could be a Word document. I don't mind as long as I can read it, but upload your solution. And then also upload or take a recording of yourself saying like, hey, um, this is this is Joe Johnny. I'm doing my assignment here. Uh, this, this is my solution for part A. This is oh, and the biggest port, uh, part of the of the video is that you take your ID and you show it to the camera so that we can verify your identity. OK, because one thing that we're required to do is we're supposed to make sure that all students uh, have verified you know, they show their face and they show their ID so we can link the student to the ID, you know, to the Canvas account. So that's only for the first applied problem. For the other three applied problems, you don't have to do that video, okay? Just for that first one. Um, I think that's it. That's the basics. <clears throat> I'll be checking in. I'll pop in the discussions and talk with you there too. Uh, but at any point, message me and let me know if you have questions. I'll be very happy to help you. Um, I think students in the past hesitate to message me because they're like, I don't want to bother the instructor. You're not bothering me if you message me about math and you need help. That's my job. Okay. If you're working on something, you get stuck. I know I've been in your shoes before. I've searched the internet looking for YouTube videos for certain math problems back when I was in, in school. Uh, and it would just take forever to find the right one. 
you know, you've got me here. I can make you a video specifically for these Newton questions to help you so that you don't have to go, go searching. It takes a little discipline on your part because I know the feeling. You just want to get it done. You don't want to wait for me to come back with a video. Um, so that's why I try to get back to students as fast as I can. But you also might, you know, have to start at the beginning of the week and then take a break. Wait for me to get you a video. Okay. Uh, but I'll be very happy to help you. Don't hesitate to let me know if you need anything, okay?